Well, you know, a lot has changed in the world of beer. For one thing, there was once upon a time when it was like ordering wine could be intimidating, ordering whiskey. Now, I know for me, ordering beer, craft beer can be intimidating. The other thing is it was traditionally kind of a male-dominated industry. So Kelly Pickard is with us right now, and you are with Ale Wife. And first of all, yes. Historic Five Points. Could you get a better location than that? That is perfect for you guys. No, the only place we wanted to be is as soon as we had the opportunity to get there. Uh, the mix of small businesses, the culture, the diversity. Uh, best spot, best spot in Jacksonville. A little biased, but can't oh, beat I, it. No, can't I, beat I think, it. I think you're completely <laughs> correct. So, Alewife Bottle Shop. What does yeah. that mean? Are you a brewery? Mm. Are you a, a restaurant? Like, what what happens in your? So business? we, yeah, we're we're a bit of a mix. So we are basically a, a craft beer bottle shop. So we're part retail. Uh, but we also have on-site consumption, so we're part bar. Um, so we have 10 taps, we have a selection of beer, cider, mead. We also have a cooler with more than 200 options. You can make your own six pack to take home. You can choose anything out of that cooler and enjoy it on site. Um, so we're always rotating through, having new offerings, uh, a mix uh, a mix of beverages. I want to zero in on the cider and the mead in sure. just a moment, but first of all, is there, a, is there something that's equal to like a wine sommelier? Uh, sommelier. sommelier. I know I didn't say it right. I'm just you know not sophisticated in that We're way. We're not worried about pronunciation here. Don't worry. Okay, about but uh, but is there something that's like yeah, that? Yeah. So there is a, a similar certification program, certified Cicerone. Uh, I myself am one. There are a handful of us in the first coast, um, and basically it kind of does for the beer industry what the sommelier does for the wine in industry, which. Um, it shows that you have a, a depth of knowledge around styles, around history, around service um, and maintenance and all kind of the collective aspects of, of beer and service. So you are a certified Cicerone, which am. means that if I come into Alewife and I say, you know, traditional, I want to get into craft beer, I want something a little bit more yeah. unique, but traditionally this is what I like at the grocery store, you can kind of level me up a little bit. Absolutely, I mean, that's, uh, I mean, the education is more about helping uh, any consumer that comes in. It's not about showing off what you know, it's being able to help somebody that comes in, uh, kind of identify what they like, why they like it, what they don't like. So all of our bartenders um, are at least certified beer server, uh, Cicerone certified beer servers. Um, so anytime you walk in, you're gonna get a knowledgeable person behind the bar that can help you make the right choice. Let's talk mead, because sure. I think mead. Now cider, I have a little bit of a, a perspective on that. I'm thinking apple cider, hard cider. Sure. But mead, I think of Henry VIII and a turkey leg. Yeah. I don't know why. Yeah, that Renaissance comes to mind. Festival. Renaissance Festival. Sure. So, so what is it about a mead that I, <laughs> I mean need to you're not know? wrong? Uh, yeah. So basically, any uh, what when it comes down to alcoholic beverages, it's all categorized by kind of where it gets its alcohol, its fermentable sugar. So when we're talking about, you're absolutely right. When we're talking about cider, it's apples. When we're talking about mead, we're talking about fermented honey. Oh, okay. Um, so oh, we've got a couple really? different. Yeah. So we've got a couple different options here. So these bottles represent what we would refer to as like a still mead. Uh, so these tend to be a little bit higher alcohol. So I, want, I know you've got a whole show to do, so we won't <laughs> do uh, it's too much here. But you, you see they're going to be still. Yes. Um, they're going to be around 14 and 19 percent. I mean, you already took one of my ciders, so you might yeah. as well come in here for yeah. the mead, yeah. too. Yeah. <laughs> she, Kelly said, Kelly said yeah. you're a man down. <laughs> <laughs> I looked at all of these cans here. Well, so, yeah, you go ahead but, and but have no, a little bit was, as well. He was pacing right. right there with his cider, and I'm like, you need to be in the segment to yeah, sure. justify all right, let's that try cider. So, so I've he was basically mead. begging to, he, to yeah, come in. So. If we're being honest. <laughs> if we're being honest. So, yeah, so this is going to be a still mead. So, like I said, no carbonation, a little higher alcohol generally these are in the realm of 14 percent uh, when we serve this at the bar we would serve it in a glass like this a little bit like a port wine you can think of it like a dessert wine or a port and wine would you swirl it at all or is yeah. that just i mean depends how fancy you want to look oh, well, i want to look I mean, super okay. fancy then go for it super fancy yeah. is my mm. okay. smell it so this particular one is going to, there are mm. different types of mead. Uh, this one is gonna actually amp up the sweetness of the honey. Mm. Uh, with, uh, this is Kurt's apple, Kurt's apple pie. It's one oh, of our I best sellers. I tasted apple. So there's going to be some, it's a base of honey, but it's gonna have additional apples, cinnamon and vanilla. Kind of plays up that honey sweetness. Very we have good. others uh, over there. We've got like the shadow thicket or other, if you add like darker berries, tart berries, it kind of cuts down the sweetness and sort of uh, looks a little bit, kind of acts more like a, a dessert wine or a port wine. Excellent. So you can kind of cut the sweetness or play it out. On the other hand, we do have uh, meads that are also what we refer to as draft or session meads. Mm -hmm. They're carbonated, um, they're lower alcohol, more like a typical cider uh, or, or beer, generally in the realm of five and a half percent. These are the ones that we offer on tap.
so, um, so have, they're like a little, a little bit lighter. Bit, a little bit of everything. And yeah. I also know, and I know we're out of time now, yeah. but I know you also, there's this big movement now for dry July and people aren't drinking. So you have yeah. some non, no, non alcoholic. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Here. It's one of the biggest growth areas we're seeing. Excellent. Ale Wife Bottle Shop. Make a note of that. All right. Oh, no, actually, Dakar, we go there. I suck her off camera. We I go know. there all the time. Every time we play at Rain Dogs, it's two doors down. We load our stuff up and we immediately go right around and come into the back. It's a combo. You can't beat it. <laughs> Love it. Awesome. We've got Peyton Lesher again coming up with another song. We're going to be right back.